Discussion of the reform of state owned enterprises. is we are going to have our, our guest joining us, Liu Zhiqing, senior fellow at the Chongyang Institute for Financial Studies, Renmin University of China. Uh, Mr. Liu, we know to improve the competitiveness of state enterprises, we at least need to pay attention to two aspects. That is a world-class, top-notch management team and, of course, a transparent, modern corporate governance to maximize uh, their company profits to improve their competitiveness. How should we um, involve, how should we engage with these two issues? Actually, there are many things that to do to improve the efficiency and also to improve the profit of the state-owned companies. I think the key element should be done or should be focused is that we should give a good balance or combination between governance and uh, operation. The governance of the company or operation of the company are totally different the sectors. Governance and more lawmakers are enforcement of the law system. And operating is also making, making decisions according to the market requirement. So some companies, if we miss these uh, two points, uh, could make some misunderstandings in the operation. So the profit of the state-owned companies always come from the market itself, also from the cre uh, creative ability of the talented people there. So beside the, what we have discussed, I think I suggest we should give more freedom to the uh, high uh, qualified talented people to release their uh, creative ability and enthusiasm for more productivity for more advanced technological products. They are the main source for the high profit. So I think many state-owned companies have realized such a problem. They are trying to have emphasize to have more investment in these two sections. I, I believe in a short time that the state-owned company could have a very better performance in the optimizing and also maximizing the profit of its own. Right. We noticed that in the inland or the western central area of China, such as Henan, and also in northeast uh, part of China, uh, such as Liaoning, where uh, Shenyang and Changchun cities are located, the economies are less developed than coastal areas like Shanghai and Guangdong, where private economies thrive. In those mainland and western areas, northeast of China, uh, well, the government uh, economy, the, the state economy, plays a bigger role. So how can we encourage both state-owned economies and private economies to both develop in areas where the economy is less developed? I think the answers and the solutions are already emerging from your questions because we see that the total difference of the two parts and also two different sections of the economy. Actually, we can see one side is quite rich, the other side is quite poor. The rich is state-owned companies and the poor is the private section. In which section that they are poor or, or rich? Because from natural resources, market assessment, and the third is capital occupation. All these state-owned companies are quite rich. On the other side, the poor side is the private economy. They need support from the policy, from the government, even from the financing banker system. So how to make a good combination from the rich side and the poor side, make a, a good effort to join together. This could be a really great potentially driving force to our development, especially to recover of the Western uh, areas. The Western areas, also the state-owned companies, they have more problems in the talented management and the capital inflow and also the market awareness to uh, attract more investment from outside. So from both these areas that I think from these two uh, sides should have joined uh, efforts, a unified policy and a unified market in order to develop its own advantages and disadvantages. Only by doing so, that I think the, uh, our country development could find a good balance point. Right. What you and I discuss a very big topic. We hope we can continue to talk about it um, in our later 
opportunities. Thank you so much. That's Mr. Liu Zhiqing from Renmin University of China.